Eric Engbo? Yes? Subscribe to my channel if you want to live. Subscribe to my channel if you want to live. Or maybe it was the other way around. Oh f Before we start, let's get one or two things straight. You do not fool around with these things in public, even if you think no one sees you. I do have some personal experience regarding this. Let's just say a patrol car came, but we saw it just in time, so we quickly packed our stuff and got the hell out of there. So if you do need to run around with them guns, first get the landlord's approval to even shoot where you want to shoot in the first place, and finally Contact your local police, so you don't send ED-209 to give you 20 seconds to comply. I'm sure it's only a glitch. So, this is a very plastic looking Glock 17 that I got 20 years ago when my parents finally gave up after years of nagging. I removed the slide by simply removing one little screw because I wanted to paint it separately. Yeah, it's not a quality build, but whatever yo. I used some crappy tape to cover the shell ejecting part. I filled up the damn hole with some multi tack because I'm lazy. A spray can with some metallic paint. Metallica, yeheza. A pro tip is to spray too close and too much to get an uneven finish that you will hate. Ah! Uh, what the hell am I doing? Come on, fix it in post. Moving on to the Engbo with a shotgun. This is a SAS 12 something something tactical boomstick that I fooled around with before with some silver metallic paint. Let's go overboard and ruin it some more. Ah, the pistol grip came off easier than I thought. <sighs> Seesaw scene. Now we got a fantastic hole. How are we going to fix that? With some crappy tape, who cares? Why don't I have any masking tape? I used some brown reddish spray paint and painted like a boss. Ah, masking tape, fantastic spillage. Using the metallic spray again. Ah, God damn it! I removed the pump thingy with violence. This is exactly how you should paint, up and down like an idiot. The sad part is that this is the best paint job on the entire gun. Let's do some scratches. Just spray some metallic silver paint in the lid so it becomes liquid metal. I stole a paintbrush to ruin from my spouse, because fantastic. What? I'm doing this now? Great plan, great plan. Then I was forced to go full Bob Ross, because acrylic paint will certainly do the trick here. What am I, five years old? Jesus Christ! Acetone. More acetone. This is why I should paint too many layers, way too close. <sighs> so I painted the whole damn thing again. Look and behold, actual masking tape. While I'm redoing everything, why not fill up the hole with some masonite? Use a ton of super glue when you don't have a clue. Repainting is so much fun. Time for a bravery test. I'm using a matte black paint to add a bit of wear and tear. Finally, it's scratching time. When you barely have any silver metallic paint left on the brush, it's ready to scratch them up. Use absolutely no pressure. We don't make mistakes. Just ugly little props. Ah, screw it. Roll montage.
So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and don't get shot. Hey! Uh, oh! Nu är vi sticker!